tonight we are starting a new theme called Hey God, which is all about talking with God. Before we get started tonight, I want to see you guys up on your feet for our time of praise and worship. I'm going to draw a picture today on the dry erase easier. And I want you to see if you can guess what this picture is about. All right? What did I draw a picture of? With ears, right. You're looking at the ears. Awesome. Awesome. Did you know that we can pray and talk to God and he will hear you? Well, it's true. And that's why I drew an ear. Because you can talk to God anytime anywhere and know that he is all ears one time jesus told a story to help us know how we should pray and should not pray let me see if you can guess this next picture What does that picture look like? Mean. mean, right. It's a mean face. Because this story is about some people called the Pharisees who were not very nice. Everything these people did was to show off for themselves, for other people. They wanted to show their other people that they were good. And even, 
even tried to show off for God. You can imagine showing off for God. If they did something kind, it was only so others would see it. And if they prayed, it was super loud because they were trying to make themselves sound better than others. But Jesus has something to say about that. What do you think Jesus told the people? Mm. You're right. Let's see if you can guess the next drawing and we'll find out. Can you guess it? It's a person. It's a person, right. That's because Jesus told the people not to like the Pharisees, showing off for others. And you will notice I only drew, drew one person, right? That's because Jesus told people that when we pray, we should go somewhere quiet, go into your room maybe, find a quiet place. doesn't have to be in your room, but just find a quiet place and you can alone and you can talk to God and pray to your Heavenly Father. Jesus is explaining that God cares about us and how we pray and that we're not going to have people watching us pray. Okay? He must just, he just wants to talk to him, us to talk to him about what's in our hearts. Let's see if you can guess the next one. Okay? I'm just going to add to it. What did I add to it? A speech bubble. A speech bubble. A speech bubble for talking, right? Yeah. Because Jesus showed us how to talk to God. Jesus said to pray like this. Our Father in heaven, we pray that your name will always be kept holy. We pray that your kingdom will come. And that you want, will, your wants will be done here on earth the same as in heaven. Give us the food we need each day. Forgive us our sins, and we will forgive those who have done wrong to us. Do not let us be tempted, but save us from the evil one. Joseph sh Joseph. Jesus showed us that talking to God is simply, we can say, hey God, and tell how great he is. We can say, even say, we're sorry for the many things that we've done wrong. We can just talk to him like we're talking back and forth, like we're talking here. We can talk to him any which way, as long as we're talking privately around him. Okay, let's see if you can guess the next. This one should be easy. What picture did I draw? A heart. A heart. That is correct. I drew this because I want us to remember that God loves us so much that he loves to hear us pray. Do you think God ever gets tired of hearing us? No. No, he never gets tired of hearing us. He loves to hear us talk to him no matter if we are happy, or we're sad, or we're excited, or we're not feeling well. It is always good to, ta good to talk to God all the time. Thank you so much, Ms. Sharon, for our Bible story this week. So just to review, do you guys remember when we should pray? You're right. All the time, anywhere, in any way. We can talk to God.
My dude, what's up? Hey, bro, I'm just hanging out at home playing some Xbox. What's up? Well, you know, I was just out on a walk and I thought I'd check in on you. How's everything going? You know, bro, I gotta be honest. We've known each other for a while, so you know how hard life can be sometimes. Man, I really get that. What what you got going on? Honestly, um, I've been feeling super alone lately. I know I've got friends, but not everybody can be from can be here for me all the time, you know? Yeah, totally. There's been plenty of times when I've even wondered if anyone was really there for me, you know? Like not sure who I'd call if I just needed to talk. Really? You always seem like so confident and cool. I had no idea you struggled with feeling alone too. I thought it was just me. <laughs> Man, here's what you need to know. We all have hard times, but I gotta tell you what changed the game for me. What's that? <laughs> well, see, one time this kid from my church invited me to start reading the Bible after school with some of his friends. And we started diving into God's word and I learned about a lot about this little something that's actually a really big something called prayer. You mean like, Kind of before a meal or like when you're needing help with some, remembering something or maybe it was like the time I need to help with my math test. <laughs> you know, I used to think that's all that prayer was, but this group of friends taught me that it's so much more than just that. Prayer is actually just simply talking to God. Like we're talking right now? I mean, minus the technology, of course, you can't just FaceTime up to God, but you can talk to him at any time. And you know, you can know that he's always there, always listening to every word you have to say. You're feeling lonely, tell God. He wants to remind you that he's right there with you. You're feeling happy, tell God. He wants to celebrate with you like a good friend would do. So I can literally talk to God at any time, anywhere about anything, and he's gonna listen to me? It's awesome, right? The Bible tells us in Philippians 4, 6, do not worry about anything. No matter what happens, tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to Him. You know, I do have a lot to be thankful for. For one, you called me at the right time when I was lonely, honestly, and I needed somebody to talk to. Hey, dude, that's exactly what friends are for. All of this is good to know, but... I have to ask, is there a certain thing I have to do to hear from God? Well, see, that's a great question. The Bible says lots of things about prayer. There's no right or wrong way to do it necessarily. It's more just about opening up your heart and having a conversation. Hold up. Don't conversations happen two ways? Like, you know, me and you were talking right now. We've been friends for a long time. And you're obviously talking back to me. So God can do the same thing? He absolutely can. And he does. And when you talk to God, just simply take a minute to be still and listen for his voice. And listen for him to speak to your heart throughout the entirety of the day. Honestly, bro, this is so new, but this is incredible. I, I think I'm going to take time to talk to God right now. Actually, would you want to come over and play some Xbox with me? I just got a new game, and then you can also eat dinner with my family. Dude, if your mom's making her famous spaghetti, count me in. I'll holler at you later. <laughs> see, see you soon, bro. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us again tonight. Before we end our night, I want to have one more time of worship with you guys. So I want to see you guys back up on your feet and ready for this next song. Talk to